look like a crab. What a struggler. Mate, just give up. Brooke thinks he's Tom Hanks from Castaway. We have been gone for the past two hours, guys. We come back. I left the beach for literally on the beach for two hours. We've been squidding, exploring this beautiful location. We get back and there's it's literally a double header. Pretty happy with that because I was pretty disappointed with not catching. We'll probably use that as bait later on, so I'll leave that aside. We're just gonna quickly gut this fish. So it goes straight down the middle. You guys should know the drill by now. I gotta get this for the vlog. <laughs> this is, this, I can't even talk right now. And it does not help that the sky looks like this too. <laughs> guys, guys, first day of like exploring WA and this is what we come across. Apparently there's kangaroos on the beach here too, so we'll try to get that on camera. Yeah, as you can tell, I, I, <laughs> oh my God. Wow, I didn't think I'd ever see this on earth. Like, I thought I'd have to be on a different planet. Holy crap. Is it time to fish the crab now? It's making it hot. Alright, so when these defrost, they stay together. Oh, oh. wrong hole. <laughs> <laughs> So for all the people at home wondering why we're not cooking these, these are called bait fish. So you use this to catch crab. Meant to zip tight onto the net. I <laughs> I just let me do it. I wanna do it. I wanna do it. We're going to the ocean to drop these crab nets in. We're hoping for blue swimmer crabs. Blue swimmers. They've been caught around the area. It's a bit out of the season, but fingers crossed and catch some decent sized crabs. Yummy dinner. Let's go. All right, so we have more luck. We're gonna stagger these along the beach. We only have two, so I'm gonna try one here and then maybe one down there. All right, the only way to do it is to get wet. The deeper, the better. Deeper, the better. The more wet. Oh. The best thing about these adventure shirts is that they're made for adventure. So you can get these wet and they'll dry up real quick. Guys, if you wanna pick one up, goonworldaustralia.com, check it out. Unfortunately, we had no luck with the blue crabs, but a local did say that there's mussels in the area, so let's go try find some mussels. We've been directed here by a local. She said that there's lots of mussels here, out on that pier, but it looks like the only way to get there is to swim. And Bo, that looks very rippy. Might leave that one up to Bo. So guys, we're currently trying to figure out if this is safe. I'm definitely not doing it because I can swim, but... Yeah, I want to do it, knowing the lengths that we go to yeah. get these if crustaceans. If I come back. If not, just go to the shop and buy them. Let's go. Alright guys, missions, 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 missions. You so, look like the part. So we've got the backpack on, the life vest and the wetsuit. So the mission is to swim all the way out to that jetty and get some muscles. Let's do it. Alright, good luck. Be safe. Don't fucking do anything that you shouldn't. This guy must love muscles and oysters. He's getting thrown around. Let's get this on the drone. Let's go. I'm too big. Alright guys, so Bo is out there. I'm sitting in the warm car and I'm watching him on the drone. It looks bloody rough out there. And the drone's even struggling to stay up with this wind. He's doing well though. See him diving down. Definitely wetsuit needed. We got what we came from, baby. There's muscles down here. This is what heating fresh is all about, guys. The adventure. Just getting bashed around. Dude, reach down lower. Oh my god. For someone that loves muscles, this guy's clearly never caught muscles before. Bit of protection on the arms. Mm, must be doing alright. It's hard to tell how close this jet is. He's struggling because he's got a life jacket on, guys. He's getting absolutely smashed. Jesus Christ, he's doing well. <laughs> this, I find this hilarious. Really committed. Yes. 
some. No, bro. I was looking out for sharks while trying not to get washed by the rip. So it was all about the adventure. Just about almost died, but we got like half a bag full, guys. Full of mussels. Did you, how long oh. were you out there for like two hours? I was probably out there for about an hour. Nonna would be very proud right now. Yeah. What we're looking for is fresh, hot. Look at all this beautiful fresh food. So we'll probably grab something to spice it up a little bit. No. <laughs> Baboon, it's a baboon. Ah, baboon. All right, so today was fun and a huge, huge challenge. Uh, we decided to reward ourselves by getting a hotel for the night. This is from our Patreon subscribers. With your payment, we were able to get a hotel for the night. So what I'm gonna do in this hotel is put the mussels that we caught in the sink and keep them fresh. All right, heading into winter, we're gonna make a nice warm, hearty mussel linguine with a recipe from my friend Jordan. If you like the full recipe, head over to Beef Cakes and Shakes website and they'll have it right there for you. Let's start cooking. Simmer for about three minutes. White wine, boom, that's gonna get all the flavors put it together. Then the cream to just like mellow it all the hot, hot flavors out. Wow. There you go, we're just cooking up some like fresh mussels. Pasta, do you want some? No, you want me. You sure? Oh, yeah, cool. I'm a great chef. No, you're he's, right. he's very proud of his cooking. you got to rip out a muscle and try it. Alright guys, first muscle I've ever tried. Get a bit of sauce on there. They're not fishy at all. Yeah, they're nice, aren't they're they? They're actually really good now. Let me try Nice and salty. <laughs> 10 out of 10. Yes. Really good. Awesome. Really All right, guys. Good. Thank you so much for watching. If you did enjoy it, guys, hit the like button. Uh, comment down below what you thought. If you have any other recipes, guys, put them down in the comments, and we'll see you in the next video. That's a wrap, baby. I've just been woken up to this. I don't know if you can hear this. We're camped up on the side of the road right now. I think it's a cow making love with another cow. I thought one died on the side of the road, but it just sounds like they're having a lot of fun. I think they're finished.